Hello everyone, a record crowd tonight for the West Texas A&M Southern Indiana quarterfinal division two playoff game over 7300 on hand. That is a new mark for any quarterfinal game and second largest crowd ever since the elite era began. Buffs battling a good team and of course home cooking. Again, Southern Indiana had the momentum from the start. It'll be Jacob Norman with the rebound and Alex Stein, the coach's son, gonna put up a three ball. One of those hot shot Indiana shooters from three point range, five nothing early on USI. Brandon Hall gets uh, in the paint, gets the buffs on the board mercifully. Uh, it took a while, but then Stein had a big night. He had over 30, unstoppable, 9-2 Screaming Eagles. Buffs stay resilient. Joel Murray with this uh, makes it a one point game with this uh, amazing little shot in the lamb. How he got that in, but it went in, it was 9-8. We go to the second half, Buffs crawling back in it from a deficit. Quay Grant with the lay in to make it uh, 48 to 39 when he scores right here, right at our camera and Amanda Atwell. Crowd makes it hard to keep momentum though. Nate Hansen with a three coming up after a steal in the Ford Center, yeah. At 7,000 people making noise. WT makes it a close one. Eric Mosley tries for three, Grant the rebound. Buffs got the within two, but it wouldn't be enough. They lose 94-84. A disappointing end of the season. Amanda Atwell is in Evansville and has more, Amanda. Yeah, Lee, to say the crowd had an effect on this game would be quite the understatement. I think the last time I saw a crowd like this was probably at a Texas Tech game in Lubbock, and they were playing Texas. But despite this, the Buffs hung tough. You saw there they had them down to two in the second at one point, but every little bit of momentum was countered with little mistakes and then roars from the crowd. I thought our, our guys played really hard. I thought we battled the whole game. Uh, I, I think a little little things maybe didn't go our way, but our guys didn't give up. But you give Southern Indiana a lot of credit. They're a very good team. They had uh, a few of their friends there tonight helping them. In Southern, Southern Indiana had the home advantage. Um, but, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. It's after after a while, you know, you, you, you forget they're there. But, you know, I mean, I, th I think they for sure had an impact on the game. But, you know, we got some tough guys. We got guys who play through the noise, and I think we did that. But... Now the Buffs will head home, but Southern Indiana will play Point Loma, who just beat Queens from North Carolina. I'm headed home with the Buffs as well from Evansville. Amanda Atwell, ABC7.